This is Nigeria, the corporate jungle, where everyone is either a hustler or a make-believe CEO. To succeed, you have to work hard and seize your opportunities. And if you do, you could be one of Africa's next billionaires. Our crude makes us one of the most oil-rich countries in the world and Africa's largest economy. However, the country still lacks basic infrastructure, a factor that can make doing business difficult. The entrepreneurial spirit in Nigeria is ranked as one of the fastest growing globally. Sterling Bank recognizes this and is giving budding entrepreneurs an opportunity to pitch their ideas, convince the judges, and get that critical capital investment to kickstart their business. The problem with that is how can I invest in your idea if I can't see how I'm going to get my money back? These applicants will come face to face with our business experts and celebrity judges who have been handpicked to help develop and decide the fates of these anxious entrepreneurs. From over 8,000 applicants, we are down to 200 business ideas. But only three with compelling innovations will be selected to grow their dream business and harness their full potential. The question now is, who will succeed, who will fail, and what business will get that 10 million Naira? 12 rounds, ding, ding. Sick and tired of the whole damn thing, yeah. Stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling now. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, no, no. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, no, no. Be lucky if I stick around, maybe foolish, but I ain't a clown, no, no, no. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, 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 no. Bitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Opening the show today is Tolulope Gideon, a mobile game developer focused on creating educational games. How you doing, bro? Hello. Okay, you have three minutes to pitch your ideas for us. All right. Um, what Disney said that I would rather entertain people and hope that they were educated or they learned something than educate people and hope that they were entertained. I am Tolu, the CEO of Avena Games, and Avena Entertainment is a mobile games application development company focused on developing fun and engaging mobile games for iOS, Windows, and the web, and uh, Android, of course. And also, we noticed that there's been no Nigerian game company or Nigerian game in the global game scene. And we hope that we can change this in a narrative. The first and foremost, we create educational games based on the Nigerian educational curriculum. And outside that, they have uh, Yoruba movies, they have Igbo movies, they have Aosa movies, then we have the English movies in Nigeria. So we are also trying to replicate this model so that we can capture those markets. Uh, we have created over 50 games so far. Our, our monetization models, we, we sell uh, lives within the games, and then we, we charge through in-app uh, in-game ads, which, which comes in two ways, custom ads and uh, reward ads. Reward ads are the ones you use when you're playing, your, your life is out, you watch the video to keep playing. If we get this investment, we hope to use it to market because marketing is very key for us. And then we hope to market and get users and keep expanding because this is content age, information okay. age, there's limit, okay. limitless. Has the educational game speech entertained the judges enough to make them dip into their sterling piggy bank? Do you build only your ideas or do you guys also build ideas for? We build ideas from uh, uh, from developers, from friends, okay. then we, most times we build my ideas because I look at the market, I see what is probably going to sell, right. and then we implement it. Okay, so you have, a, you have an amazing product. Well done, well Push done. It. I like that. Thank well you. Push that product. Make it trendy. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Make it a trendy product. And <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, man. Thank you. Bye. Well, it was okay. It was fine. Um, the time was short, but I think I was able to deliver to an extent. That decision, my friend, is totally up to the judges. He has a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like he's allowing the opportunities he has 
control him rather than controlling the opportunities he has. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. So what makes the particular, this particular entrepreneurship show different is the fact that the, the sponsors are willing to go the distance with the participants. So it's not just this round of financing. First of all, it's a loan, it's not a grant. So what that does is it makes you put in more effort. This entrepreneurial show is quite different from a lot of all the other ones in the sense that it's worked closely with participants, right uh, from the point of the um, putting for the expression of interest in the program. Uh, setting for their basic business ideas up until the point of doing the interviews. So what we, ex what we found was when we spoke to a lot of the business owners, many didn't quite get a grasp of what it was that they needed. So we're also able to infuse a bit of advice at that point in time as well. It's the fact that you bring um, 50 people together, you teach them about business, you teach them about growing their business, you teach them about how to make presentations, and then you tell them to come and pitch their business. What I say is, even if you're not the person who wins the money, you have learned something. You've learned how to structure your business. You've learned how to put your processes and procedures in place in your business. So you still take something away. So it's different. So this uh, business program is more, has expresses a lot of hand-holding in terms of assisting the participants to bring them up to scale. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, 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 no. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Amara Okoli Peace is the CEO of Mara Cruz Organics, producers of organic hair products sourced from local materials. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm fine. Congrats on making it this far. Thank you. Um, you have three minutes for your presentation. Wish you the best. Thank you so much. Let's go. My name is Amaroko Litase, founder CEO of Maracruz Organics. Four years ago, I had this very sad look on my face holding my baby girl because her hair was very thick and it was difficult for me to manage her hair. And there was no made in Nigeria kiddies product for me to easily soften her hair, comb it, or manage and grow her hair. So that made me discover a huge problem in Nigeria. There is no specifically made kiddies product that, that tends to kiddies hair care. In Nigeria, most products that are available are foreign-based products, and these products are very expensive. Even if one can afford this very expensive product, it doesn't really work for our hair texture. Another thing is there is a huge education gap, meaning that even if you have the right product, but you don't know how to properly take care of your hair, how to even use the product, you still notice that you won't be able to achieve a healthy hair. We use locally made um, local natural herbs, butters and oils to develop high performance, affordable and effective organic hair products. We have over 80 distributors, 30 salon partners and over 10,000 users across three African countries. So we're in Nigeria, we're in Ghana and we're in Benin Republic. But we just still feel like we're barely scratched the surface. So we have an addressable total African hair market of 60 million users. Then the global natural hair care market itself is estimated around 25 billion. So we want our share of this market. Big dreams and heavy ambitions. That 10 million naira will definitely come in handy for her African hair market takeover. So I really hope that when I grab this opportunity, that that's also how Stellenbach would want to change the hair care narrative in Nigeria and across Africa. Thank you. Here's a lady who knows exactly what she wants. Judges, is she getting any of that sterling money? I have your product. We yes, some yes, of yes. I'm so sorry. I was so caught up with time. Like. <laughs> The judges get a chance to sample her products and hopefully they live up to her high recommendations. All the best. Thank you so yes. much. Of course. So I'm going with an empty box. The first product I have claimed. They claimed my boss, they asked me how it's fresh. I think I did pretty good, consider that I was very tense, but it flowed very well. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Shamaye Tolulope, her dessert company Melting Moments is up next. Her brand slogan is Indulgence Without Guilt. Hi. Hi. Tolulope, right? Yes. 
Welcome back. Good afternoon. Welcome. Congrats on making it this far. Thank you. See, you brought some, some yummies some here. For us. Yes, you have I three did. minutes. Melting Moment is a frozen dessert company. I'll get to that. So, indulgence without guilt. Just think about without that. Without guilt. Without guilt. Hmm. Nigerian culture is catching up with the dessert culture, right? Mm -hmm. And most of us would like to have dessert after meals like you're about to have. Oh, and some of us, like me, dessert before oh, meals. Nice. And we still want to maintain our waistline, yeah. right? I'm going to focus on one product, which is our gelato Italian ice cream. I'm sure most people are not aware that there's a difference between Italian ice cream and American ice cream. But I'll run you through it. Gelato is low in fat, low sugar, 50% less air, the dense the texture is dense and is milk based. Ice cream is high fat, high sugar, 100% air overrun, so you're just literally ingesting air, and is cream based. Now, melting moment is taken to a notch higher. We are substituting cow milk with plant based milk like tiger nut, almond milk, and also we're taking the low sugar to natural sweeteners like dates. Why invest in melting moment? There are a lot of great businesses, but why us? Why our luxury product? Feed farm industry is growing. Let us help their ministry. They need to indulge. Mm -hmm. So let's give them something sweet, mm -hmm. but yet still keep the waistline. Who says we can't be the next Ben and Jerry, Ta Talentini, mm -hmm. Blue Bunny, from Nigeria, Africa to the world. Thank you. Thank you. The judges could not wait to get their hands on the desserts as Tolulope waits painstakingly while the judges indulge in some melting moments. First of all, you scored some points because... <laughs> so this is what, I'm, what we have in. Okay, so you have two flavors right there. We have the is cookies and cream. Low fat, you know? Everything. Girl, yeah. yes. Okay. Well Congratulations well and um, good you. luck, man. This good is a fantastic you. product. Thank you. Thank you. Low fat, but very delicious. Oh, I'm talking about her pitch, not just the ice cream. It was good. At first I was so tense, but eventually I owned it, you know. And it was great. But it tastes, actually tastes really nice. It's really nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know the reason that it dropped. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, 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 no. Pitch Nigeria. Brought to you by Sterling. Ireo Lua Ige, here to present a very distinctive pitch. He aims to develop an application to battle depression and loneliness. Good evening. Good evening. You're officially the last man standing for the day. That puts pressure on you. It puts right. pressure on you. Now, play. You have three minutes to do your presentation. All right. Let's hear it. Two years ago, I was um, giving a list of people at my local church to counsel. Right. Um, people going through different stuff in life. Um, a list of about 20 people. During the course of counseling them, about three of them uh, were going through depression. Right. And uh, one of them was suicidal. We, we had the counseling session and I mean, things got better. But during the course of, um, during the rest of the year, I mean, three other people that I counseled we're also going through depression with suicidal um, tendencies. So, I mean, it got us thinking, how can we solve this problem? We noticed that on social media, many youths, 16 years old, 20 years old, 25 years old, going through depression, thinking of suicide. And so we started thinking, how can we solve this problem? And so we came up with Yappy. So Yappy is a tech solution. Uh, it's just a platform where we connect people who are passionate about listening to people going through depression and we we'll connect them with people suffering from this kind of illness. It's a safe environment. Everything is controlled, everything is regulated. You are being connected to people who want to listen to you, people who want to help you to get through that um, situation, basically. One of the core features of our platform is that you can choose to be anonymous. So if you, if you don't want people, so you're a superstar, you're a celebrity, you're a politician, you're a public figure, you don't want people to know about what you're going through, you just want something private and personal. Now, traditional psychologists charge about 20,000, 15,000, 10,000 per session. I mean, an average Joe is university student or someone, um, or even a working class people, in, like um, a working class person in a country like Nigeria can't afford 10,000 Naira per session. Mm -hmm. you get? So I mean, that flexibility, it makes it easier and affo more affordable. All right, thank you very much. Okay, hey, um, can you go back like two slides? All right. So the anonymity, I yeah. like that aspect, but the video aspect of it kind of cancels, cancels yeah. that. Okay. Audio, yes. Text, yes. 
or video, mm -hmm. how does that work? Okay, so I'm going to explain that. So why we put video is at some point, people want a more personal, they want to see the face of the person they are speaking to. So that's why we say you can choose to be anonymous. It's a choice. You can make that choice. If you want to put up your, if you want to um, connect, connect with video, you can do that. If you don't want to, then it's fine. It's good for you. Yeah. I wonder how the judges will respond to this idea. I think it's a, it's, it's a great idea. I think it's a great initiative. I think it's very thoughtful of you to think of something to tackle this epidemic that's going on in, in the world right now. Um, I just think your business plan and your operation needs a little bit of tweaking, just tightening in certain places right. and you'll be good. So all the best and good luck. All right, thank you. All right, bro. I think the panel liked the idea. I mean, my concept, as in the concept of our business, product, our product, basically, yes, sir. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. And it's a wrap for day one of our top 50 pitches. The judges have done awesome today. Hi, guys. Doing super amazing. The big question is, who's gonna make it to the top five? You have to keep watching the Pitch Nigeria to find out. It's day two tomorrow. My name is Illy and this is The Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling Bank.